What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are looking at how to write fractions of amounts using non-unit fractions. Let's waste no time, let's jump into it. Okay, first, the first thing we need to remember is that fractions are a part of a whole. So when we're talking about fractions, we're talking about values that are less than one. And we have this fancy little name here, non-unit fractions. This is the second of two lessons. If you've not looked at the unit fractions lesson, I would suggest you stop this video and watch that lesson first because you might need to know some of those skills before you understand non-unit fractions. But essentially, a non-unit fraction is a fraction, let's look at this one here, where the number on the top is more than one. So in this case, two, and in this case, we have a three. And working out fractions of amounts with a non-unit fraction means we have one extra step. So let's have a look at this first question. It says, find two-thirds of these marbles. Okay, well, what do we need to do first? Well, we need to remember what our fraction stands for. And the number on our bottom is what we call the denominator. And this tells us how many we need to split our whole, so in this case, our whole amount of marbles, it tells us how many we need to split them into. We can see we have groups of three, because our denominator is a three. And then the number on the top, we call this the numerator. And this then tells us how many of those groups of three we need to add up and look at to get our final answer. So that might sound a little bit complicated. Let's see it in practice. So we can see I have one, two, three, four, five, six marbles. And to find two thirds of them, I need to split them into three equal piles. So I'm gonna put my three sharing circles out, one, two, three, and then I'm gonna simply share them into these three circles. So I'll put number one in here, number two in here, number three in here, number four back in the first one, number five in the second, and number six in the third. And then the first job I need to do is just make sure I have the same amount in each one. I have two in here, two in here, and two in here. So I've done that right. But then my question asks for what two thirds are. So this would be one third, because this is one of the circles. So therefore two thirds would be two of the circles. This is two thirds, because each of those little circles is equivalent to one third. So to get two thirds, I need to count two of the circles. So how many marbles do I have in two of these circles? I have one, two, three, four. So my total answer is four. One third of six equals four. Awesome. Let's look at this second one. Find three quarters or three fourths of these marbles. Well, let's count how many I have first. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. So I have 16. So my question is, find three quarters of 16. So remember what we need to do first. We need to look at our denominator, quarters or fourths. So I need four sharing circles. One, two, three, four. And then I'm going to simply share my marbles between these four sharing circles. So this first one will go in here. Second, third, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth. And the ninth one will come back in the first. Tenth in the second. Eleventh in the third. Twelfth in the, th in the fourth. Thirteenth back in the first. Fourteenth back in the second. Fifteenth in the third. And sixteenth in the fourth. And again, let's just check we have the same amount in each one. I have four here, four here, four here, and four here. Good, so I know I've not made any small mistakes. And now I need to understand that each of these circles is one quarter. So to find out what three quarters is, I can't just count one circle. I have to count three circles. And in these circles, I can say I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I have 12 marbles, meaning my answer to finding 3 quarters of these marbles equals 
12. Awesome. But sometimes we don't have marbles. Sometimes we just see the question like this. Find three-fifths of 25. And this looks so much harder when we don't have those marbles. But remember, we can still use scrap paper or my screen around me to help me. So I'm going to draw and I'm going to see it in practice. So how many do I have? I have 25. And I'm trying to find out what three-fifths are. Remembering that my five is the denominator, meaning that's the amount I'm going to share my 25 between. So I'm going to share it between one, two, three, four, five. And I want to count three-fifths. So I'm going to be looking at these three circles here. Now I'm just going to share my 25 out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. But remember, I don't just want to count how many is in one circle. I'm looking for these three circles, and I have 5, 10, 15. So my answer to 3 fifths of 25 equals 15. And I got there by drawing out my marbles and my sharing circles. Let's look at what to remember. A non-unit fraction are fractions where the numerator, the number at the top, is more than one. And we use the denominator, the number at the bottom of our fraction, to create equal groups. And then we just share our quantity out and then count how many is in the numerators. That will give us our total answer. Your turn. Find two quarters or two fourths of these marbles. Press pause on the video now. Take your time. Good luck. And there we have it, guys. That is how to find fractions of quantities with non-unit fractions. If you've mastered this lesson, you are a genius and you're on your way to becoming very good at fractions. In our next lesson, we're going to be looking at equivalent fractions. So I'll hopefully see you there. But for now, guys, see you in another video. Peace out.